Welcome back to the Snack Rum Podcast with Brady. And I'm Ryan. And we're just two virgins sitting on the couch. Or we could make it zero. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've, been, I've, been, I've been saving my, my butthole virginity for someone special. I was hoping the Pope, but you'll do. Oh, man. <laughs> I was honestly thinking about that bit like all morning. <laughs> And I was like, because I saw a TikTok, obviously. Oh, I, I love TikToks. And I was like, man, this is going to kill Ryan in the podcast. <laughs> and then once when uh, the joke took off and never landed. Uh, but once once you ride it in a bit, it's always there. You have to always yeah. keep it. You always have to do it first time. You can never like do retakes of the bit. It's just whatever happens. Um, speaking of TikToks, I, I've, been, I've, been on, I've been on Instagram Reels. You know, I, um, How are you, you know, liking it? I was kind of hoping that I can just be on Instagram Reels as a joke, and you would just like get like you would just like make it as like a you would just like you would think it's funny, but you haven't really thought it's funny yet. No, <laughs> I've been kind of annoyed because we talk a lot of shit on like TikTok, but Instagram Leo <laughs> Instagram Reels is just a knockoff same of TikTok. Exact, no, it's just same. a no- they actually you sent me an Instagram Reel. It was an imported TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> No, most of them, on Instagram most of them are. Most of them are. I was like, "What are you doing?" Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what's crazy? I, I do. No, no, I no, do want. On. I want. I do want to get more into TikTok. This morning, I made one. I actually, I had fun doing it. You know what I mean? TikTok's so funny. It, it, oh my gosh, yeah. the people on there are so like crazy, like funny and talented. Right. It, my 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 brain is starting to work more and more as a, as a TikTok creator. It's like it's like it's like you have ideas, but it's like how do you translate that into like. Into a TikTok kind of sometimes. Oh man, and that's the crazy thing is like I notice this a lot. People just copy each other on TikTok. Like one joke oh, will 100%. hit. One joke would hit, and then you'll scroll down. And you'll see like ten other people say the same joke. But but different different ways though. It's it's like it's like what's the trend, and how can I make it my own? How can I how can I tw- throw a twist in there, and, and make it better? Mm. And uh, I think that, I, I I I do like TikTok. I did be cautious of my time though, just because like I don't want to spending like two hours on it a day which Bro, i'm not i'm gonna be honest with you i will spend two or three hours i used to be like i used to be like oh it's tiktok it's whatever but recently i'll just be laying in my bed before like when i wake <laughs> up or right before i go to bed for hours yeah it's not good I, i'll it's be laughing good. my i'll be laughing my booty off man like i'll find like two or three really funny ones and i was like that's not even funny but why am i giggling so yeah, hard it's like it's like that we're going to turn this pizza hut into a pizza home like oh my me. gosh <laughs> <laughs> that, that to me was really funny but um, oh my gosh it's crazy did you see on um twitter they added stories no they didn't did you they didn't re- see it no i mean go on twitter right now phone, what are you talking about my phone's too far away. i posted a twitter story you did not see my twitter story Sh- are you serious 100 percent Show me right now. Yeah, keep on talking. Yeah, so no, uh, just show me. I don't no, want I'm keep, showing I don't, you. I don't want to keep talking. Okay, so <laughs> I it's a, probably a meme because people were saying stuff like, "Oh, look, Microsoft Outlook now has stories," or "Now look, um, Microsoft Calculator has stories now." Okay. Oh my lord, why? Everything has stories now, bro, that's, I, dude. Yeah. My my Wonder Bread has stories, bro. And like, I follow two thousand people on like Twitter, so like, I get all their stories. Two thousand stories, Brady. So like, I'm just scrolling through. It's like this is all trash. Yeah, but it's crazy. <laughs> I wish I could get my data back for looking at this. But a lot of people I saw their posting is like, well, I post depressing tweets on Twitter all the time. Now I'm gonna have to post like depressing stories on Twitter. I don't think I love that. Um, a lot of people are saying that Instagram's new update is um kind of killing kind of killing instagram a little bit because it's it's really promoting small businesses and it's oh it's, my gosh yeah. i saw that yeah, it's, so it's, it's, i was so bizarre because usually where you go to like like it's a i don't shop. like it i don't like it because usually you can see your likes right where your thumb is and now you gotta stretch your whole thumb over like just regions and regions and, and miles of pixels <laughs> to get to the top of the screen and click it and now it's like oh i just waste all that time and and manpower to see my notifications i it's weird i will say um what will you say brady say it i will say say what you i do like say. i do buy a couple products from twitter but i mean instagram but like i don't go on instagram to go shop yeah yeah it's definitely so, like, yeah i have bought much. some like cool like shirts or whatever from instagram or 
whatever, you know. But, like, I'm not going to go to Instagram shop. I'm going on Instagram to, like, get those likes and, you know, post yeah. those get that, daily pics. Get that Instagram clout, brother. Exactly. If you didn't post your food, did you really eat it? <laughs> 2014 baby no but um, I'm not a fan oh, I mean yeah, I don't I w- really care for it it's not like I'm gonna like have a riot about it right it's not a big deal but a lot of people are predicting that it's like it's, it's like the beginning of the fall of Instagram which I can kind of see I don't see. think there's gonna be a fall of Instagram it's too massive for sure um, I don't know I don't know I think it's too early to tell but on, tw- on Twitter a lot of people were upset um, people were saying oh my Instagram's not like a flea market and stuff like that or like oh they put an ugly shopping cart where my notifications used to be, and I agree with them. I agree with them. I think it's annoying. I mean, obviously, I'm a, I'm a business owner who depends on Instagram. Um, however, I do think it's pretty annoying that, like, oh, my Instagram is now catering to business owners or people who just want to sell their OnlyFans or whatever. It's just, like, it's not, like, <laughs> oriented towards, like, photographers or, like, communication or, like, connection anymore really yeah it, it's weird it's like just like a small part of instagram but it's like such a big change right like it's weird they, they also integrated um reels so that's pretty new um just tiktok reels is basically they're they're integrating like um uh, sorry not tiktok instagram reels which is basically now just like their version of tiktok on instagram and now they've had like I don't know. They're, 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 doing, they're, doing, they're doing the most right now. You know what I just noticed? What did you just notice? <coughs> oh, bless you. Bless you, <coughs> man. <coughs> yeah, that's a great bit. That's, the, that's probably the funniest bit we have on this show. <laughs> Sorry, I took a hit of my... What were you saying? Anyway, um, I noticed on Instagram... It was better than your stupid. Let's, get, let's have sex on the couch bit. <laughs> It's a good bit. What do you mean? Anyway, Instagram is just a copycat of all the social media. So hear me out. They have the now Instagram market, right? Right. They have Facebook market. Right. Instagram stories. Right. They have Snapchat stories. Oh my stories. God. Yes. Yes. And then. Here it comes. The, here it comes. Uh, the reels. The oh! Instagram reels is just TikToks and Vines. <laughs> oh man. I just made panty pudding. I bet you next that you're going to be able to like tweet on Instagram. Imagine that. There would be no need for email or Twitter anymore. Well, how does email correlate with Twitter? That's insane. Twitter's going to be like the <laughs> gathering marketplace plateau for every social media. It's, I don't know, man. I think they're trying to do the most. It's sort of like, oh, Instagram's sort of like mom trying to bring the family back together a little bit. And she's just trying to do everything. Like, yeah. like. Yeah, they, totally. Every, the, the pie, the appetizer, the turkey, the roast beast, the dessert. And, and eventually every, she's going to burn herself out. And eventually, it's it, none of it's going to be that great, yeah. but she just wants everyone to like her so much. But we know that like she's she's used up, you know what I mean? She's, and, she's exactly. Not, she's going to be so tired and exhaustive of like preparing all this stuff. She's not even going to be at the Thanksgiving she's not, she's dinner. Not, she's she's going to be upstairs sleeping. She's going to be upstairs sleeping. Exactly. exactly. And we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have a burnt-ass turkey, a burnt-ass roast. What else? Burnt-ass uh, relationship with your family. The potatoes are going to be hard. <laughs> the green beans won't, will, won't be green. I text my girlfriend the other day. They'll be blue. I text my girlfriend the other day. I'm like... Cause she was like not texting me at all, so oh. I'm like, "Hey, you're avoiding me like green green bean casserole at Thanksgiving dinner." She's like, "I actually really enjoy green bean casserole." <laughs> but it's I was a, like, "Damn, she she, uh, she twists that on me." I, I like green bean casserole too. <laughs> Do you actually? Dude, come on. Uh, so who? <laughs> stop, stop. I'm trying. I'm trying to have a serious conversation with you about green bean casserole. Yeah, green 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 beans in my butt, daddy. Um, <laughs> I if I am I, my name is Ryan. I am of sound mind and and sound sound. Anyway, I enjoy every food. I love every food. Um, I think I can't think of a food I don't like. I'm Brady, and um, I don't like pickles on my burger. <laughs> but his his girlfriend works at Chick Fil A, so like he has to get used to it because like that's what they're gonna be eating for the rest of their lives. I will say, I'm not one of those people who's like, if they put pickles on the burger. I won't make a big deal about it. I'll just peel off the pickles, you know? There's people that's like, <laughs> I will not eat this. That's what that's the difference, difference between you and I. Like, if I don't like pickles on my burger, I'm going to say, and don't forget to take off the pickles, you you, you, you low-life, minimum-wage, cuck, virgin-ass. I don't want to see pickles on my burger. Ugh! 
Yeah, I'll just peel it off because I'm not that extra. And I don't want to make a scene in the Chick Fil A parking it's lot. It's just, it's just like you ask for no pickles, and then you get pickles, and then what happens next? You're allergic to pickles, and then you're dead. Which would you rather do? Be uncomfortable for two seconds or die? Well, are you allergic to pickles? No. If you're allergic to pickles, then yeah. But if you just don't like pickles, you're not gonna be like, bleh, bleh, bleh. like if you have a nut allergy, you're gonna, you're <laughs> you're not gonna say, hey. If you put nuts on it, don't worry, I'll just peel it off, or, you know. <laughs> I, I had a dirty joke, but I'm just like, you know what? Please don't. I think, I think a handful of my of my um, more innocent friends listen to this. I don't want to. Um, yeah, all my ex-girlfriends had nut allergies, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, thanks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Shout out Sarah. Shout out Katie. Shout out. I only dated white girls. I'm just now noticing. Wow. <laughs> yeah, mostly. That's pretty strange because you're pretty mixed as it is. Yeah, I'm a mixed boy. Um, I'm a mixed bag of uh, ethnicity. I'm mostly Ecuadorian, but my dad was like Italian, Mexican, and my grandpa was adopted, so we don't even know what he is. Mm. Do you have like a, for like your type of girl, what's like, what's your ideal hair color? Oh, brunette, like dark brown. Um, really? I, li- I like them kind of short. I'm- Sounds kind of basic. Like, just like brown brunette, because I feel like everybody... I have brown hair. I feel like everybody has brown and brunette hair. You know what? I love all all folks. You know, I I, I really do. But it's kind of funny to me. <laughs> it's kind of funny to me when, like, blonde girls, like, they have they have blonde hair, and then their their hair matches their skin tone. I, I think that's always kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's like a platinum blonde. <laughs> yeah. It's like a platinum blonde. It's yeah. the same color of their, then, like, like, spray it tan. Goes up to, it goes up to their scalp, and it's like, it just never ends and goes to their face. Like, like that to me is always kind of funny. Um, to be fair, girls nowadays don't even have their natural hair color. Yeah. Or yeah. guys. Or, Actually, everybody. I've never dyed my hair. You never dyed your hair? No. It kills it. Definitely, like, your long, luscious, well, beautiful every hair. Every month. Sorry, thank you. Every year I donate my hair, and it can't be damaged or 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 dyed to donate it. So in in high school, I dyed my hair blonde for like the longest time, and it just destroyed. Because just like the bleaching chemicals you have to put in your hair, mm-hmm. so the color like sticks mm-hmm. to your hair, it destroys it. Like your hair will get all flat and frizzy and disgusting. So that's why I stopped dyeing my hair. Now I have my luscious Jewish curls. Yes, they're rich with that Jew curl. Um, but I do that, love my curls, actually. Yeah, I mean, you're, once it gets once it gets a little bit longer, it will it'll look more natural in a bun too. Because like oh, when, you, no. when you pull well, it back too hard, it it like pulls so, on your eyes and your, yeah. and your, so and your head. You a guys, bit. Uh, if you guys don't know who we are, um, I'm trying to grow out my hair right now. It's getting to a good length. It's like almost down to my shoulders. Yeah. It's not quite like long, long yet. But like I could put it up. I do like a half up, half down. But I just have such a massive forehead. <laughs> like, no, like I'm being honest. That's my biggest insecurity. That's why I always wear hats and beanies, and because I just have a really? huge forehead, and like I don't feel comfortable with like my hair up, because it just reveals so much of my forehead. Huh. Well, maybe enough hair, it'll be different looking. Yeah. I maybe. Don't, I don't know. But also, like going off of that, um, this is gonna be kind of, sound kind of weird, but I'm kind of into girls with like big foreheads, <laughs> like like. I used to I used to get off to Code Lyoko, and oh that one girl, <laughs> <laughs> just like all, all of them, all of them. <coughs> like I just want to eat like a four course me a five course meal off like a girl's forehead. I just want to land a helicopter on it. I just I just want to just like, want to go wanna, right to her forehead. I want to shine it. Um, I don't know something something about foreheads. Are you being dead ass right now? A little bit, yeah. Really. A, a, I mean, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I mean, I, and like like your forehead doesn't turn me on. But like mm-hmm. some people's foreheads, um, will will get me hot and bothered. Yeah. Um, Here, I'll be honest with you. What's up? Um, I think small ears are really cute. Like if a girl has like really small ears, mm-hmm. that's really cute. Or or hear do, me do, out. Do you think that affects their hearing, or do you think they're good? I think they're good, cause you know, I don't think it's the size of the ear. It's like the size of like your ear tunnel. <laughs> like, you, you can you can take you can take the the mexicano out of the streets but you can't take the streets out of the mexicano <laughs> or the homes <laughs> that or just like do you like smaller girls or taller girls I, I i will take i like either but i think i prefer like a little bit shorter shorter because like well because as a guy it gives you confidence well no like, i can fire, reach i can I, reach the shelf well more like 
if there's ever a fire, I can just like toss her out the window. <laughs> or like if I needed to like put her on my shoulder so she can see like the fireworks at Disneyland, that'd be baller too. You know what I mean? <laughs> like she's a little child. <laughs> Oh, that made it weird. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Never mind. But that'd be actually really cute, though, if I got jacked enough that, like, I can put my wife on my shoulders and she, my, my, wife, my wife can put our daughter or our son on her shoulders. Oh, wow. That's a lot of people on here. I don't think so. Well, if, have, you're, if your kid's, like, one. I have that, brought But if your shoulders. kid is, like, 12. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm not going to do that at, at his graduation, Brady. You could do that. <laughs> have you ever had someone sit on your shoulders? They're not heavy. You don't no. need to get jacked. Um, um, at one time I did have two people on my shoulders. Um, in the pool? No. Oh, wow. We were doing a skit, I think, at Young Life, and I had two people on my shoulders. Um, and I, it, it, I was more afraid for, like, my back, I think. My back was, like, I think feeling a lot of pressure. I think, yeah. Like, it's like 400 it's not pounds so much, almost. It's not so much about, like, your shoulder strength. It's more about, like, your back giving out. So if you don't have, like, a sturdy, strong back, that baby's going to crack. What are you most afraid of in your body of breaking or like so damaging? I've never broken a bone. Right, right. But at like, all. what would you like? What would you be most afraid of like hurting? Spinal cord, because like then you're just screwed. Like other bones, they could heal back, but like if you break your spine, then that's just like no walking for the rest of your life. You can definitely break your back without losing walking. No, through. no, you can, but right. that's like the right. most. You're afraid scariest of you're afraid thing. of losing, like like um, if I break like my legs. lower back or just my spinal cord, whatever. Like that's scary. Like never walking ever again. Right. Like right. I, I salute people who like have to deal with that and like the trauma that comes with it. No, totally, totally. Um, people are I troopers. Think, yeah, per, um, Professor X definitely was someone I looked up to. Grow- no, I'm, just I'm sorry. <laughs> How did he break his back again? I don't know. Plane crash, right? I do. I don't know. Man, I wish I knew. If, I feel like uh, I watched enough X Men movies where I should have. I don't know. think I've ever watched one X Men movie. Is that insane? Really? Coming they just had their anniversary. Nerd. Well, it's because like. I think it was because they were all inconsistent with each other. Like they didn't like, they all they changed up, changed up the cast like pretty pretty frequently. Oh, they did. Wait, going back to what I was saying. Oh, um, my bad. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. I kind of I kind of enjoy being sporadic and, and going crazy, but also like. Uh, you want to talk about injuries? No, I mean, yeah, I think I think losing my legs would suck a little bit because like, I don't I'm not like really proud like most of my body, but my legs are gorgeous. Like, I love your legs. They're... <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're thick. They're strong. They're like toned. They're thick with three C's. Yeah, um, they're really strong. So like, I guess I would, I would really upset, be upset losing that, or even worse, like paraplegic, like where you just move your neck, like, like you can't have no, sh- no, no feeling under your, under your shoulders. Yeah, man. that's just scary stuff. You gotta like come to realization with. I was reading this book last week or this week too. Um, it's called Forgotten God. And in in the in chapter two, it talks about this girl named Joni, and Joni was like a promising, like um, professional soccer player, mm-hmm. and in a car accident, she became a paraplegic, oh. and she like was begging her family to kill her, like pull the plug kind of stuff. Oh yikes! Because dude, like like what? Like come on, you you have like a scholarship to to any university you want to play soccer. Like you know me, and then and then you go from that to like literally just being able to move your mouth. Yeah, that that's, would that sucks. yeah, it sucks like like freaking crazy. Anyway, um, the point of the, of his story was that uh, we don't usually get like we don't usually get spiritual on on this podcast usually, but basically he had never experienced the Holy Spirit um, as as he he's never seen the Holy Spirit as much as he ever seen um, the Spirit active in one person as. As it was Joni. Joni Joni went on to write like fifty three books, open up like um, three different facilities for like um, for for handicapped folks. And anyway, she's just a massive inspiration. And she learned to like paint with her mouth, and her paintings went for five hundred minimum. Wow. Um. So yeah, yeah, losing your legs would definitely blow. Like I think pretty bad. Oh yeah. Wow. She sounds inspirational. Yeah, she's still around too. That's, it's been that's a minute. crazy because there's a bunch of stories like her. Where, like, just shit happens, life happens, but it's, like, how you, like, deal with the happening, and, like, what do you do f- to grow from this terrible situation, how are you going to make a better outcome for yourself in the future? Because there's a lot of people who just right. give up, <clears throat> and, like, as easy as that looks, that's the easy route. Mm-hmm. So, like, going the hardest route and being the most positive and, like, finding an outlook on life. It's hard. It's definitely hard, but, like... Yeah. Overall, it's, it'll be better for you, but it's definitely and, easier to always give up. Right, and neither one of us, neither one of us can even really, I mean, at least for me, at least, I, don't think, I, I can't testify with like how intense 
that that feeling might be like we can we can say all day oh we're just gonna keep your head up you, you oh just no got... no i yeah. bet you it's it's literally like the odds are like one to ten like of coming out positive yeah coming like like swing coming back swinging um you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I only have ever been faced with anything like that massive. Too. Oh, no, like, never. Um, I definitely have, like, had, like, some really, really hard times, but I don't think anything to the point where it was, like, just 100% life-changing. Um, mm-hmm. There's this girl on, I follow on Twitter. I think her name is, she goes by, like, she goes by, like, Clanchy or Calanchy. Um, so, I'm, like, attracted to, like, powerful women, confidence. This this girl, she she's is a, a par- she's not paraplegic, she's a... No, quadriplegic, right? Is the all four of your limbs can't work? Um, not sure, but she, yes. She's in a wheelchair. So she's in a wheelchair. And she is a phenomenal artist. She's gorgeous. And she, like, exudes confidence. And she exudes, like, um, intelligence really? and her creativity. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely send you her, um, yeah, her do profile. It, but um, she's gorgeous. She, I look up to her because she's like everything she says is like just like full of like confidence and positivity. That's awesome, man. It's yeah, it's wild. And like I'm just like wow, like honestly, was she was she, was she like that from birth or was it no, like I think an, it was accident? an accident? Okay, wait, hold That's... on. This is me being ignorant, but can you be paraplegic from birth? I think anything could happen during the birthing process because I know, like personally, some not to that extreme, but I know people with birth defects. Where just stuff like that happens. I mean, we're no doctor. We don't know a lot about like that process. Yeah, honestly, but I would say could be probably fact check this. Our slogan could be fact check this. Fact check. <laughs> but yeah, bro, it's hard. My kind of outlook on life is like like you. I've never been in a situation like that where like yeah, I had some down days, but I've never been in like a rough situation like that where like everything is getting tested at once. But like my outlook on life is like if your life people around your life if as long as you have like a high spirit and a positive attitude no matter what this is just going to be a struggle in your life and in the future this is going to be the smallest inconvenience and you're not even going to think about it so as long as you stay positive and keep on going everything will work out eventually right and they're always going to work out how they're supposed to it might not be how you want it to work out but it's going to work out how it's gonna work out Right. Um, I saw it on a post recently. I post. I re. I re. I reposted it on my Instagram. It, it says something like, um, "You have survived 100% of your worst day so far," and it's true. Um, mm-hmm. I'm like, and again, I feel bad about saying stuff like that just because I don't know what it's like to lose like your sight or your legs or anything. But I I do know that, um, that it's definitely baby steps it's definitely something that isn't no one prepares you for overnight it's definitely something that's like you need to crawl to run to find that new normal to to overcome it um another thing else i want to kind of go off of was um i was talking to my friends earlier this week and we're just kind of talking about like body issues and stuff like that and how like men have body issues too sometimes and then like i think of it sometimes from a different angle and i kind of think to myself like you know what yeah, I'm not like mega like happy with my my body all the time, or like I don't always love it, but my body like it wakes up in the morning, it self heals, it takes my stupid head from my bed to my kitchen to my bathroom, like my body functions and, and it works. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, and that's more than like what what some people could say. You know what I mean? And and I think that's beautiful. And yeah. sometimes you take that for granted. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think I like with that is like us as humans we always want the next better thing when we when we have to take a moment and just realize like i'm happy with what i have now always strive to be a little bit better but never discourage what you have in the moment what you have currently learn to love and enjoy it as it is because you might not have it in the future no for sure for sure um also like with money too um kind of kind of kind of do the same concept a little bit like um I think I think I'm learning more and more and more that like, it's not even about the money. Sometimes I, um, when it comes to my company, I think I just want my customers to be happy. I think more yeah. often than not. Um, sometimes, yeah, it's like kind of a pain in the ass to like go the extra mile, just like make sure that they're 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 content and like everything works out. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, but sometimes like I, I've been thinking lately, like you know, like money is like such a it's it, it's a concept essentially. Oh, and money. The- I wish in the in this world in this society we didn't have to deal about money. I feel like everybody would be so much happier. For sure, for sure, there'd be definitely be a different system in place. But um, money money is essentially a concept, 
and you can't take it with you when you die and you can't um you know it's not something that's going to be relevant when you when you pass and yeah you can give it to your family and stuff like that you know what i mean but i think your family is going to cherish the memories and the time they have with you over yeah. over financial stability i mean I'm not saying that's everyone, but I, I, I will assume that, like, you know what, like, honestly, if my mom doesn't leave me with any any money, or my, my family doesn't leave me with any money, I'll be fine with that 1,000%. I just want, like, memories of that. Yeah. Bro, it's crazy that you say that, because currently in my life, like, what I'm learning right now is my past, like, a lot of years, I've been so focused on money, 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 I'm going <clears> to <throat> save all the money I can, but at the end of the day, what is that money doing just sitting there? And then I came to a realization is money will always come back to you. Yes, don't splurge with it. Yes, be responsible with it. But at, at the end of the day, it's time with certain people and loved ones where you're never going to get back. As long as you work your ass off and work hard, money's always going to come back. But your friends and family and the people around you who you love and they love you, they might not always be there. So no, rather, sure. we're, we're learning that. So that's more, definitely more. like something I'm learning right now is like, I don't need to save all this money in the whole world. I need to focus on like spending that quality time and even spending some <clears> of that money to make these experience happen right. with and, these and loved ones. I don't, I don't know if they teach you this <clears throat> at your Dutch Bros. Um, Dutch Bros is a coffee shop that's big in Arizona. Um, but uh, they say that like time is is people's most valuable currency and they mm -hmm. choose to spend it at dutch do they teach you that over there oh yeah okay yeah I, that's what i was taught too like like to, um if i choose to spend my time with someone like that's me like not they could replace time with money and that's essentially what's going on i'm choosing to spend my money my time my time essentially on this person because like you know i love them or i want to know them or whatever see if, it's a, if they're worth worth investing in but um recently my mom asked me, um, "Hey, what do you want? What do you want for uh, for Christmas?" And I was like, "I don't know. I don't. I mean, I can definitely just send you a list of like things that like I see online that I really love and I kind of want." But then, like, I was thinking it'd be kind of cool too. We haven't taken a family trip together in a long time, so oh, I was that thinking like, nice. yeah, I was thinking like all four of us or all three of us, and then plus plus Dave. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we take a trip i mean it doesn't have to be like anything mega fancy it can be like through the grand canyon or like through just Prescott something valley like, just something nice with each other yeah and not target <laughs> you know i'm not trying to i'm not trying to like spend christmas at target um as corny as that sounds like oh i want anything for christmas yeah, I, I want know. family time yeah. but like honestly like when you guys yeah. grow up like not grow up like just when you guys like experience life more like that you precious too. Like, yeah, like, you that can, precious yeah. time with like your family and friends you're gonna really enjoy that and definitely Especially the more and more too. you guys like yeah move out and like start your own life like just have like i adore my time with my dad and my mom i have now since i don't live with them anymore it's been a while like i love hanging out and having experience with that so like yeah, I was kind of in the same situation. Like, I don't know what I want for Christmas. Ask like, them for, like, a family trip. Say, like, hey, you know what? Let's all go to Flagstaff or let's all do a really easy hike or let's all just, like, I don't know. That's what I'm going to do. I think, I think I'm think i going to ask them. That will be dope. If we can all just do, like, a night or two on the beach or something like that, I'll definitely just pitch in for all yeah. the money. New Mexico. Yeah, yeah. I definitely want to go to New Mexico and watch grass grow or, or hit the liquor store. I don't, I don't know what's over there. Yeah, there's nothing in New Mexico, man. But if you're from New Mexico, why? That, Why? I don't know. Why? I got offered a job position there. And, like, as much as I, like, I respect it, I was like, I'm sorry, but <laughs> no. New Me to me, I mean, the thing is, I've never been to New Mexico. So I can't hate on it that much. But I know people who's been to New Mexico. And it's just great value Arizona. <laughs> it really is. It really is. It's store brand Arizona. There is Breaking Bad there. And that's about it. Yeah. It's, it's a big big flat plateau with the breaking bad house on it i don't know what else is there. i really don't No, um, albuquerque but that what's in albuquerque so like if you guys are from new mexico let us know what there yeah, is yeah. to do drop drop a comment um let us know what's in new mexico let us know your favorite thing to do because that's my friend my friend was born in new mexico so i'm like oh so i'm going there in december is there anything i could like do there for fun He's like oh you could go snowboarding but you have to drive two hours up to Colorado. I'm like, that's not even in <laughs> that's not even in New Mexico, man. <laughs> He's like, yeah, if you want to do anything, just drive two hours outside of New Mexico. Um, 
You know what? Like as I'm as I'm getting older, as I'm getting older. Um, so I came from California when I was fourteen, and South Cal. Yeah, yeah, or that's North definitely Cal. that's definitely what the tourists call it. Um, <laughs> and so when I came to Arizona, when I was thirteen or fourteen. Um, I just wanted to go back to California. It had way more to do. Every corner was filled. There was no like long dirt roads or long dirt areas with nothing in it. Um, but as I got older, learned to learn to drive and learned to do things on my own branched out a lot i see I, i'm kind of appreciating arizona more and more and more um, oh i love arizona man. so you have two you have, you have anything from an hour to two hours up up the up north and you hit like mountains and mountains and mountains and mountains really cool weather you do two hours south you're literally in mexico you have you have the valley and you have the city right next to each other um yeah so i mean and, there, there there's definitely quite yeah. a bit and even if you just want to drive a little bit more you got the beach six hours away you have Las Vegas, three and a half hours away. Yeah, I think I would do Vegas. You now. have Colorado, diagonal, north diagonal from us. And it's like, bro, we have literally yeah. everything in there. And, you know, no offense to other states, it's kind of cheap living right now. Um, uh, I would say, uh, yeah, I mean, I just came from California. I think I was only in California for like, like three hours max. And I told my sister, right, I picked her up. All, right, I think the first thing I said to her, I was like, I love you, but I hate this traffic so much. Oh, there, California, I heard chat. Tra- oh, my there's, gosh. There's literally three to four times more traffic in, in California than there is in Arizona. It's congested. There's just there's too many people there and not enough space. <laughs> That's a commercial. Um, too much <laughs> stuff, not enough space. Oh, speaking of which. No, never mind. <laughs> we don't have an ad run this, this, this week. No one sponsored us. We could make a fast one. Do you like Lizzie's? Do you, um, do you, do you, or do you prefer vagina? Okay, this ad read's over. <laughs> this ad read was we're brought to you by the Snack Run Podcast. All funny is we'll go to the Glizzy Incorporated Tour Bus. <laughs> this, this episode of the Snack Run Podcast is brought to you by SundayMorningSupply.com. I don't miss hearing Here that. at Sunday Morning Okay, Supply. okay, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> we, There's we, a reason why we're not sponsored by them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Um, have you ever been to Texas? I like vagina. Um, no, I've only been to like four states. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexico. You don't travel. I forget. Bitch, I would love to. I'm just, I'm just you just don't. I, I'm I not it. privileged. You're, no, you're just really busy. I get it, man. I'm not. <laughs> I wish I, I, I will travel more soon. I promise. Yeah, go for it. Oh, Shut I up! I didn't. I haven't been to Texas, and you start bagging on me. What man? I, what do you mean bagging you on you? You literally just said, "Oh, you haven't been to Texas." I forgot you're poor. I literally said, because you literally say, I don't travel. So I said, oh, yeah, you don't travel. Okay, man, I get it. I didn't say that. Did I say, I you f- scumbag, you don't oh, travel? You, you said we can't say the F for the ah! This, this. <laughs> anyway, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, I understand you don't travel. I was just. I want to travel. Oh, but yeah, but I understand you don't travel. I do travel. It's just been a hard year. I went to California like last week. I, I went to Mexico that. two weeks ago. I respect that. What are we not getting that? You keep saying you don't travel. You don't travel. Okay, fine. Ryan, you travel. Where's Thank the, you. Where's the best place you travel? <laughs> is, that, is that what you're getting at? No, but I'm asking <laughs> you now. Where's the best place you travel? No, you were talking no, about... No, where's the best place you travel? I really liked Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> A 14 hour drive to Seattle. No, I <laughs> flew there. Yeah, I went on a two and a half week cruise. Oh, to wait, hold on. I, I lied. I went to Tennessee too. Tennessee? Yeah. You're the only 10 I see. Yep. And, and there's Brady going for that low hanging fruit again, guys. <laughs> um, what's, one of your, what's one of your favorite places you've traveled? Uh, in the States or outside the States? Uh, either or, like, if, if you really enjoyed, like, Mesa, tell me about Mesa. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. Um, in the States, I would say Boston, Massachusetts, since, definitely since my family's from Boston. Just that whole East Coast, beautiful, man. Hey, Absol- I'm walking here, I'm walking here, am I <laughs> I'm right? I'm walking, park the car, put the coin in the slot. Hey, and Ma, you- get the chainsaw, <laughs> I'm dying over here. <laughs> Language. <man. laughs> anyway, um... Boston's beautiful, like beautiful green hills. <laughs> Language. We already have to go in and like censor five of these words between the two of us, so shut up. <sighs> Most of me, though. Yeah, so it's beautiful. What time of year did you go? Um, I went three months ago, so whenever that was, what? Summer? Uh, August. I went August, end of summer. 
Okay. It was. Oh, didn't she go with your sister? Yeah, me, my sister, my mom, my dad. I kind of remember that. Yeah. It was kind of a blur. Yeah, it was beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. Green Hills, wonderful. And, like, if you love seafood, that's where you go. I went to Seafood? This- You're the only food I see. <laughs> you can't see my face right now, but I'm very disappointed. <laughs> but um, I, went to this, uh, I went to this one restaurant. They literally caught the crab. Like, it was on the pier. They would catch the crab and put it on your plate. That's not, how fresh it not was. Not Mr. Krabs. <laughs> boy, boy, have you seen those crabs? They're so cheap, they can't even afford to pay attention. Boo, go back to the squirrel jokes. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Yeah. Nice. Um, if you were going to pick a place outside the States to travel, where would you go? Like, anywhere. If I haven't anywhere. been there Yeah, yet? anywhere. Um, um... Like, well, I mean, obviously Japan, but oh, then like, oh, like I'm, I'm, we're I'm, going to Japan next year. We right? are. Well, hold on, hold on. We, we let's talk about that. Definitely want to talk about that. But aside from Japan, I want to go to Japan. Yeah, I know. So bad. Probably Maine. Probably Maine. Um, Maine? you know, we all had that one girl that got away, or boy, guy, whatever. Um, we all had that one person that got away, and um, shout out. I think I always, I think I always really, really. You know, Maine's in the states, right? Oh, you know, also while we're at it, go ahead and censor her name out. <laughs> I can help you out with that in this one. <laughs> outside the States? I might, my bad. Um, yeah, yeah, outside, like foreign. I kind of want to visit. Definitely Japan. What we yeah, yeah, Japan, I kind of want to visit my home country. Um, the, my, the Philippines? Yeah, the Philippines. Everyone outside, <laughs> everyone, else, everyone on my mom's side came from Ecuador. Ecuador. Um, yeah, oh, man, they, I feel so bad. They came on a raft, <laughs> which is insane because there's no like water between Ecuador and the states. I just bought this couch. You, you made me laugh really hard. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, um, guys, we should probably tell you tell you that we recorded a whole a whole frick fracking podcast, and we couldn't use it. Can we talk about Japan? Yeah, we will. And also, oh. hold on. Right when we started that podcast that we, we can't we can't use, um, I sat down to record and my whole ass pants just ripped in half. Oh my gosh. Remember that? Remember that, Brady? Brady! Brady, are you okay? Holy shit, Brady! Brady! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> no, we should really address what just happened. We really need to. So <laughs> <laughs> I was laying down. Upside down on the couch, like my feet were hanging up. Yeah, you above. got you were getting really comfortable. I was getting really comfortable. You farted on my couch <laughs> right did. before this happens. <laughs> I did. So I saw my mic like leaning off. So I'm like, I'm just gonna adjust it <laughs> just a bit. And it goes <laughs> And it popped up and landed on my dog. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is embarrassing. Um and I freaked out. I mean I can't remember what I was saying. Um I don't know. We, we we recorded a whole podcast and it was just funny to me because I sat down and record the podcast and my pants ripped. Oh yeah. That was basically it. And then we were gonna talk about where I go outside of the states, I said Ecuador, and then Japan. You really wanna talk about Japan. I love Japan. Let's talk about Japan. Yeah. Welcome to the Let's Talk About Japan segment. Cue the music. I want what they'd like in Tokyo. If you see me, then you see me, then you see okay, me. Okay, welcome to the Japan uh, segment of the podcast. Was that racist? If it was racist, I'm sorry. It, oh I, it was, I didn't mean for I it to be racist. I think it's more apparent if it's, like, if you say, is that racist? I didn't mean for it to be racist. It's like, not. It's not. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, use, they literally use that song in Tokyo Drift. Lit. Um. Yeah, so. I want to go to so Japan. It's, it's pretty, if anyone knows me. See, see my room or anything like it's pretty obvious like i, I do want to go to japan really bad you're today. basically a wanna be japanese person i am look at me Get, I'm, I'm looking what do you think japan <laughs> <laughs> um but what? i just uh, it's just like everything we do is like f- foreign from japanese culture so yeah. like we belong there to for like a week's stay the only thing about my lifestyle that isn't japanese i think is like your food. My coffee no. maker? Yeah, my food. My coffee maker, my food. If you drink, like, herbal tea, then perfect. Like, you if know, you honestly, drink caffeine... If I, check my, if I check my coffee maker stuff, it's probably, like, China or Japan. Um, oh, everything's from China. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I want to go. 100%. Just, I, see, me and Ryan have never been, so I text them. I text them, big, big long thing. I'm like, hey, man, I really want to go to Japan. <laughs> We're going to have a great time. Let's plan for next year. And he said, sure. 
No, I said, I said down. Oh, yeah. He said down. <laughs> I was like, nice, man. I appreciate it. Okay. Not, I, um, when you sent me that, like, this isn't, this isn't being rude or anything, but I have literally had, I think, three or four friends say that to me each year, and nothing ever happens. I was like, yeah, we'll make it happen. Am I a flake? Everything I say, do I do? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Except for when we... Yeah, no, pretty much. Exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, you've, you've been a man of your word so far, mostly... Better than most of my friends. I'm a good friend. Um, yeah, I, I would love to go. Um, their technology, the, the the craziness. It's just like ah, oh, just like I've been watch, I've watched a lot of vlogs too about Japan. It's, oh, it's, it's insane. Just, I just the thing is like we know nothing about Japan itself. We know about the culture. Yeah. <laughs> so like, what, what are we doing there when we get there? Like, are we gonna be able to like sleep somewhere? Or like, it's a lot of planning. I think. Some of their hotels are like literally like shelves. You put yourself in a shelf, holy, sh- holy and, crap! And you literally just sleep. You don't you don't really get a bathroom. You don't really get like, you 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 essentially. I don't know. It's just it's. But that's so an experience. Craziness. That's like a whole experience. Oh my gosh! Imagine the videos we can take too. Oh, wait, way harder. But like nothing like Logan Paul or anything. But like the respectful videos. Oh, come we take, on, man. <laughs> the respectful videos we would take. Bro, it would be so cool. I just want to go into like the antique, like Japanese anime stores and like the corner store markets. Oh, do you, you can go salute Luffy because they have. Oh, a, they, they have, have the a gold statue. Or they have a, a bunch of. They have a bunch of One Piece statues all around. Japan. Yeah, and also Gundam statues. Oh, that would be dope. They, they have, have a life-size th- Gundam. Somewhere. They have body pillows. Oh, waifu body pillows. Waifu or or husbando body pillows. Oh oh, they have they have um, vending machines where you can order hot ramen and it just comes out. It comes out. Oh bro, hot. imagine the food we could eat there. Oh my gosh, that sounds... food, I love seafood. I love sushi. I love. Imagine like the quality sushi we could get there. Uh, it wouldn't be better than Westgate, I'll tell you that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Westgate's like this little rinky dink like outlet. <laughs> it's, it's like the it's like the entertainment capital of Arizona. Um, <clears throat> yeah, um arcades. Um I heard they're big there. Duh. Stupid. Um I have a friend, uh her family's from Japan, so she's been like every summer. So she's gonna give us a list of like just stuff like we need to do. Maybe she can just like Give us a take tour. us. Oh, yeah, and she speaks fluent Japanese. It's insane. Um, yeah, I would. Love oh, that's to. smart. <laughs> I want. I want to visit UA Academy. Uh, I want. I want to learn Curse Energy from um, Gaoju Gaoju Sensei. Um, Gojo. Is it Gojo. Gojo. Yeah. Gojo Sensei. Gojo. <clears throat> um, is anime as big there as it? Not 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 big. Like, is it like mainstream there? You know what I'm saying? Like, is it nerdy to like anime when you live in Japan? No, no, no. Is it like the main shit there in Japan? Yes, it's, like it's, everybody in Japan. Everyone in Japan. If 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 the anime has become more mainstream here, imagine it times it by ten. Is that, that's how it is in Arizona. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's how it is in Arizona. That's how it is in Japan. Well, because I know nothing about Japan, so like I watch you like just watch videos after this. Honestly, Japan. yeah. But I like I was watching like I don't know just like an anime, and they're like. Mocking like the high school boy, like, oh, you read manga? What a loser! Think, so that's my only knowledge is yeah. like from anime. <laughs> I think um, bullies in high school or in cartoons and shows are always like a lot more uh, obviously dra- dramatic or like a lot more like yeah. Uh, what am I thinking of? Like the word like melodramatic, no, over dramatic, over dramatic, over the top. I don't think bullying is really a thing anymore. It should be. <clears throat> So some of the TikToks I, I watch, I'm like, we should really bring back bullying. There are some cringy stuff. <laughs> um, I'm not going to lie about that. No. Um, yeah, the food in Japan will be so dope. So dope. Oh, so good. Soda. But, oh. So dope. But I don't even... Yeah, I that's like a whole like couple months of planning before. And that's just like another thing. is like, we're kind of in a pandemic right now, so it's kind of hard to do anything. Yeah, plus like, honestly... I don't know how accepting and how like welcoming they are to foreigners and definitely Americans. Americans. No, other countries hate. When I was in Europe for a couple of weeks, they hate Americans. I wouldn't want to say hate, but like they just don't like you know. Americans have a bad rap, definitely right. as of recent. Understandable, I get it. Yeah, do we just we just we mess up it out yeah. a national embarrassment? Yeah, true. But hey, we're on a good path. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of, a lot of work to do, but um, we are we are we are getting there. Um, I like being American. And I'm proud to be an American. 
Um, so I actually would argue that that wanting voting and wanting to fix this country and make it better or or change it is more democratic or is more yeah uh, is more um Republican. what's the word what's the word i'm talking what I'm Republican. Thinking of? Uh, it's the more american left wing shut up it's like it's like what what what's the word when you're when you're proud to be an american or like when you're um, patriotic yes Thank you. Well, that that term, I would say that, that term is voting, also outdated. What? I don't know a lot, but I guess that term means something else than what you think it means. But um, it's like old back in like the Civil War. Patriotic people were like, I, I don't know. I don't want to give anything. Go on. Sorry, I did't um, need to interrupt. No, you're fine. I, I it's, I'm definitely using all my brain cells to get this one thought out. But basically, <laughs> I think that it's more patriotic to vote. And to want to change America for the better rather than leaving it how it is. Um, that is Politic Talk with Ryan Hernia. Huh. Tune in next time to hear Ryan talk about cheeseburger recipes and the dangers of salmonella. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> um, what are your thoughts on America, Brady? I like it. I like America. I like American stuff, American food. American <laughs> American culture, like putting salt and pepper on our burgers. Stop, bro. It's a bit spicy. What the hell are you talking about? It's a bit spicy, but I like it. My pretty name out of your mouth. I like a little spice on my burger. They'll put a little pepper, not too much pepper. This is coming from a white boy, ladies and gentlemen. I am white, indeed. I am 100% fully white. We we were sharing some Popeye spicy chicken spicy sauce a little bit ago, and we we both sweaty enough. To, to fill a small kiddie pool. You know what my new favorite thing is? Oh, um, tickling yourself? What? No. Um, my <laughs> new favorite thing is like when you're dancing and there's just like people it's like, go white boy, go. And then you're just busting out some like white boy dances. Yeah, yeah, go uh, white boy, go. Uh, go white boy, uh, go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I like King Vader. Oh, oh, that's that one guy you showed me. Yeah. So King Vader, if you guys don't know, he is a YouTuber... But he's he's made a name for himself for comedy, dancing, and for like some dramatic. That guy's funny. Name. That guy has some dance moves. He has done stuff for both Netflix and Comedy Central, which is pretty crazy. He's talented. He his goal is to be one of the um, best directors in Hollywood. Um, wow, really? It's kind of crazy because some of his videos don't make a lot of sense. But that's that's okay. probably just for the fun of it. Yeah, it's more for entertainment than it is for like, oh, this is a serious video. That's awesome. And it's really cool because like, he uses a lot of like black black people. Um, it's probably just his homies. Yeah. Um, do you know what movie <laughs> uses a lot of black people and I didn't love it? What, man? What's Key Peel's... Key Peel? Key and Peel? No. I mean, but Key and Peel, that's like, two people, right? Yeah, yeah. Peel's movie, what he directed. Peel? What, what's his newest one? Not, it's Us, right? Do you see Us? No, I don't. I, I thought it was creepy. So I didn't watch it. So, um, you know, I feel like I'm pretty good about understanding art. And no, no, ex- Us is that one mo- uh, TV series. Are you talking about that? Us. Us is that one TV series. Then no, there's, it's a movie. Maybe there's two Us. The recent one that came out is like a horror suspense. Yeah, 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 where they like brainwash the family or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Maybe I'm, there's another series called Us, I think. Go on. I know what you're talking about. Oh, you're about. good. Um... Well, let's say, um, so speaking of, of um, African-American folk portrayed in, in, in media today, I didn't love us. Um, I, I wanted to, um, you know what I mean? I, I really, I really enjoy, um, suspense films, horror films, stuff like that. I, I enjoy all, kind, all kinds of media. Didn't love us. Why so? Cause I heard it was like pretty good from people. Maybe as like a maybe maybe if I went into it not with a preconceived notion that it was going to be a horror film or like a suspense film, I would have enjoyed it more. But this movie, it was pretty good, but it they had a lot of pieces that had a lot of bits and had a lot of scenes that took the suspense out. Um, mm-hmm. like like one time like the house was being invaded and then the dad would be like really really funny and that kind of like broke the suspense. And then um, there's the big murder scene, 
and then like one kid was like, I got more kills than you and that like really took out like the the the, 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 the heaviness of just what happens okay or like someone just died and then like like crazy fun music would, t- would come on and I'm just like well yeah. now I kind of feel like I'm in like a a comedy or like zombie land or something. Oh yeah. And just, it just really, I don't know, man, you gotta see it. It's, it's, it's hard to explain, but I didn't love it. Yeah. I don't watch horror or anything, so I can't understand it, but I could understand like you wanting that suspense and that horror and they kind of just like breaking the mold and like trying to be like funny when it's supposed to be like suspenseful. I get that. Yeah. <clears throat> it, um, it, it's, it's really hard to explain. It's like, it's like, Oh, this movie's really, really funny. And then it got really scary and really serious. I did see, like, I was hanging out with some people and they were watching another room. So I did see, like, some major clips. So I was like, I, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> I didn't love any of that. Like, there's this one part where, like, the creepy white person's eating cereal. And <laughs> I don't know. And, like, the family escapes and they get all mad. And then they run someone. I don't know, man. I can't tell you. I saw... Speaking of creepy white people. Most um, white people, yes. You miss white people? You no. miss white people? No, that's most white people. Yeah, I miss them too. Okay. Hey, if you're a white person, hit me up. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't actually hit me up, please. I have plenty of white friends. Um, wasn't say uh, You know that actor who plays John Wick? What's his name? Mm, Keanu Reeves. Yes. So I respect him a lot as an actor. I don't actor. know how he remembered his name because he's terrible. Yeah, with I'm names. about to say you're you're bad with like most things that are not like. Pokemon, Glizzy, or your girlfriend related. Or One Piece. Or One Piece. Yes. <laughs> we should have a podcast about anime and manga. <laughs> is, isn't, this what, isn't this what this started off as? We didn't even, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> we talked about Japan. Oh, there we go. That, that, should, that should cover us uh, in the next three right, podcasts. Wait, wait, wait. No, Jujutsu Kaisen, Naruto, One Piece. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen, Fire, Fire Force, uh, One Piece, Bleach, and uh, Burn the Witch. There we go. Go on. Sweet. We nailed it. <laughs> um, we, we hit our quota. Uh, <laughs> so Keanu Reeves. <laughs> yeah. I love I love him as an actor. I, I think everything I've watched from him was like really good. I watched a movie called um, Knock Knock. Have you heard of it? Never. It came out in 2015 or 16. You watch a lot more movies than me, though. I watch a dumb amount of movies. You watch, like, three movies a day. Oh, dude, I watched, like, 20 movies last week, I think. Or if not more. Yeah. Um, some in theaters, too. Um, let us say, uh... I watched Knock Knock with Keanu Reeves. That movie I really didn't like. It made me uncomfortable. It made me... It made me upset. It made me horny. And I was scared. Some parts. Um, Here, base- I'm gonna put a one-timer... One minute timer, and you're gonna explain the plot in one minute. Why? Because it's fun. <laughs> okay, go. You ready? One yeah. minute plot. Go. Keanu Reeves has like a, has everything. He he's an architecture. He has a wife. He has kids. He has a gorgeous house. And then one night, um, his kids and his and his and his wife went on a vacation. And two girls randomly show up at his house on a stormy night. And they come in and they start hanging out with him a lot. And they start like flirting with him. And they end up having sex that night. All all three of them. And it, show, it shows a lot. It shows. I saw Keanu Reeves is taint, and it wasn't that great. Basically, these girls next morning refused to leave his home, and they ended up staying there for like a week. And they just like kept tying him up, having sex with him, and and then like destroying his house. And then they ended up like they ended up like um, planting him in the ground, and then recording them having sex with him, and then putting it on Facebook. And then their pa- then the family came home to a really messed up house, and him like. Plant it in the ground. It's hard to explain. It was just really weird. It was kind of weird that... Okay, that's it. Uh, I'm done with the plot. Okay, you got four seconds to spare. Oh, that's... Yes. Me- I don't like that already. Yeah, it was weird. What the hell? Yeah, it was... That's weird. Keanu Reeves' movie? Yes, I know. I, I was about to say that. I, I'm shocked he said yes to the script. He, I'm surprised he said like, Oh, you know what? Yeah, I can roll with this. He basically got raped and molested. Yes, he got raped. Like, unless, yeah, he got, he got he was tied down and raped twice. I don't like that one bit. Well, the first time, it was consensual, and then they wouldn't leave his house. He told them to leave like 10 times, and they wouldn't leave. And Poor Keanu Reeves. It was called Knock Knock, and it was really uncomfortable. How did it end? It ended with him, kind of weird, like I said, he just planted in the ground. Like, he, he was whole body was in the ground. Was he dead? No. He, his head was exposed, and he... They they put his phone in front of him and they they played the recorded, um, re- a, re- a record uh, a recorded video of them having sex with him, and they put it on Facebook, and they he, he saw all the comments come up like slowly, 
and um, and then their, his family came home to a really messed up house, uh, and that's how it kind of ends. That's so weird. I wouldn't like that. I don't think anybody would. would. Especially because, like, me, I thought, I thought, oh, you know what? Awesome. Another great Keanu Reeves movie. I like him a lot. And this was not what I was expecting. Yeah, no. It doesn't even sound pleasant. It just sounds like he's having sex a lot, and that's it. That's, like, the whole plot. Yeah, it was weird. He was having a lot of sex. Um, he kept saying, I'm married, I'm married, I'm married. kept touching his ring. Um, you know, he, he really resisted them for a long time. And Were they cute, at least? Yeah, they were, they were pretty hot. Okay. Um, that's why I said it made me kind of horny, but also really uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like that uncomfortable horny you get in English class when you're in eighth grade. Um, that's kind of how it was. So bizarre. Like, why would you say yes to that movie? Yeah, kind of weird, right? Kind of, if you if you have a maybe, maybe this is a for John Wick or like after John Wick, where he had like uh, a dry spell, of like bad movies, or like dry spell, of like no movies coming in. Maybe he said yes to it. That's so weird. Kind of weird, right? We Remember have- when I was describing to you that crazy um, movie about what's that one name actor? Nicholas Cage. Oh yeah. Oh my God! Remember that? Do you want me, do you want me to do another minute explanation of, of Nicholas Cage's whole, worst movie ever? Did you tell me this already? Yes. Okay. But you didn't believe me. One minute. Go. So Nicholas Cage's worst movie ever was when he was a truck driver and he saved this woman from being molested at, at a gas station or something. And then they end up like, ha- um, like uh, hanging out for a long time. And they visited the woman's daughter in the hospital. And um, basically, this woman has the power to, uh, I think it was to, to save someone's life, but only when she's about to be choked out. So Nicholas Cage had to like choke out this woman to save it, save the woman's daughter. And they end up having like, a long relationship, but then like Nicholas Cage realizes that the woman's daughter is his ex his deceased wife but reincarnated as his woman's daughter and then <clears throat> when the mom's not around he would have sex with like this like 18 year old woman girl and and um he was so convinced that it, she was like the reincarnation of his dead wife and then some other crazy stuff happens there's a big fire and i think they all die it's a really silent timer what do you think of that brady I think you should stop watching movies. <laughs> like, just entirely. Like, just stop. That was Nicolas Cage's worst film ever. I'll, I'll show you the review. Yeah, can you please I'll, not? Obviously, it's way more in-depth than what I just went into. It's just, stop going to movies <laughs> by yourself. You pick out these shitty movies, what ruins oh, the whole dude, experience. Speaking of you. shitty movies, I can go into another one. I went yeah, to, please I went to myself. <laughs> but um, could you imagine? Oh, I have a superpower. I can save anyone's life. I have to be choked out first. Just not, like, die. Just has to be choked out. Yeah, she has to get on the verge of, like, being choked choked out but like um passing out basically what the hell does she like die die um i think they all die at the end it's just kind of weird how like nicholas cage is like you know honestly what? you're you're the reincarnation of my of my dead wife we're gonna have sex right now that's so and you're 18 crazy. i'm 51 fuck it what the hell i just uh... i'm telling you why you go see these movies i didn't see it i just watched a review on it oh okay thank god but you know what honestly i will be down to see it just, nope. just for the funsies I also not a fan of movies where like everybody dies at the end because like, what satisfaction do you get from like, there being no ending? Because when when everybody dies, like there's no ending basically. I'm okay with that actually. Really? Everybody dies. Definitely in like horror scary movies, like when everybody dies, like no one wins, you know, because everybody's dead. Well, there's no like resolution, I guess. Here's the thing, Brady. Um, sometimes movies will have an ending that's fitting to the scenario or the atmosphere. Or the story. And then there's endings that cater to the audience. Pixar, kids movies, um, PG-13, stuff like that. A lot of times they will just cater to the audience, giving them like a, a fun, a fun, nice ending. And then there's movies like Uncut Gems. There's movies like... Does Rogue... Uncut Gems not have a nice ending? No. Oh, man. No. Uncut oh. Gems has a serious, serious ending that you probably wouldn't like. Um, Let me guess. He Rogue does. One had, didn't have a fun ending, really. I thought it was. Okay, go on. Bitch, everyone died. It's been four years. I don't care. Spoiler yeah, but you alert. knew that everybody was gonna die. Right. Yeah. Um, some movies just don't. All, all I'm interested is like, who becomes the king of the pirates? Oh, that is an obscure, obscured uh, One Piece reference for 
all my non weeb friends out there. Maybe you should stick to like Pixar. Well, <laughs> yeah, just will. watch watch Cars three over and over. Can you please watch Cars three? Yes, you keep on talking about it. I know, I know. I brought it up one time, then you brought it up two more times after that. Uh, I brought it up two more times, and you brought it up four more times. I will. <laughs> it's good. It's a good film. Cars three is good. I thoroughly enjoyed. It. I think. It, I think it's. I think I enjoyed Cars three more just because I'm old. And and the Cars three definitely doesn't cater to like younger kids really. Yeah. It's more like a mature story a little bit. Um, Lightning Queen dies and he's like out of the race. He's out. He's out <laughs> of the racing for like a year. It doesn't die. You're right. I haven't seen it. I about to say yes. He does. He 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 he's um he's considered salvaged. Oh really? Yeah. How's Major doing? Um, he's good. He's still like tipping over tractors. Yeah. Um. I remember uh, in the first movie, he's like that. Like this really sexy Porsche comes through with like, this big old busty bumper, and it's like this like freaking dumpster truck ass. And then Mater's like, "That's my fiance." <laughs> and then and then Lightning McQueen's like, "What, <laughs> Nani?" And then he's like, "Just kidding." <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ryan, it's about that time of the night. Oh, is it time for my bedtime story? Um, yeah, yeah, give us a bedtime story to wrap up. Okay, yeah, um, let me think of a good story. Um, oh, one time, <laughs> one time I was working at Dutch Bros, which is like this, uh, whatever, blah, 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 crazy, fun, coffee shop. Um, this guy, we have stamp cards, so like, if you have enough stamps, you, you have a free drink. And this, like, gangster looking character came through, and he gave me a stamp card where I was missing, like, three stamps. He's like, he's like, I'm gonna take this rebel. And I'm going to have blackberry, I'm going to have cherry, and strawberry. And I was like, okay, sounds good. It's going to be, um, what was it, $7.25? $7.50? $7.45. That's so stupid. It's changed three times since I've started. Yeah, it's called inflation, Ryan. It was seven fifty at one point, so it went down five cents. The point of the story was, like, he handed me a stamp card that needed three more stamps on it. And then he flashed his gun. He's like, it's going to be on you guys today. And I was like, yeah, yeah, 100%. It's going to be on us today. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I don't not see that happening because that stuff has happened oh, to me. Oh hell yeah! So I was like, yeah. And then one time, um, I was I was taking orders, and this dude was like really hyped because he just came back from Vegas. He's like, dude, I just got like the craziest time of Vegas, Vegas, and I was like, dude, that's awesome, man. I'm so happy for you, man. Like, I'm really happy. You seem to be glowing. You're a new man. You probably found God. And he's like, yeah, dude, let me, I can let me show you some pictures. And he showed me a, a picture of two girls sucking. Ew. Okay. I was like, no. I was we're, like, we're ending it. We're no, I swear ew. this happened. I swear this happened. And, and yeah, I, I don't I like, like not believe you. I, I technically gave him, gave him consent to show me, but I technically didn't want to see that either. And you technically didn't know what you were gonna see. No, and you're gonna see him like, oh, right underneath the Las Vegas sign or something like that. I thought he was gonna say like, oh, I, I, I found God and and, and in Vegas. Yeah, you there know. You go. Um, and then another time in in line. Uh, this guy brought through his motorcycle, and he let me ride it. That's and good, Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Well, that's it for the Snack Run Podcast with... I'm Ryan. <laughs> with Ryan and Brady. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, talk to you guys next week. We're, we're going to go play Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, we're going to play Hyrule Warriors. Um, remember to... Um, remember, guys, flossing doesn't actually do anything. Bye. Bye. <laughs>